Welcome back. So we've got a little stack of slabs here to go over. Um, recently got these on eBay, and I think I did pretty well on them. So nothing that's really outrageously priced. There's one that's a little bit high, but not too bad, but you'll know that card when you see it. So I'm just going to start here. So starting off, we have a Jock Peterson 2015 Panini Prism. Prism version of his rookie card. Um, these are incredibly hard to pull, so I was kind of looking to try and get one, and this mantle came up at a really good price, so I decided to go for it. Um, well, it was up at auction, and very few were bidding on it, so I now have the mantle whammy card from 2018. I believe the whammies in general were one per case, so... Not a whole lot of them out there. Um, next up, we have a little lot of cards, mainly because he doesn't have a rookie card from Tops yet. So I figured I'd pick up uh, some 2019 Bowman Cr Prospects Chrome, uh, Jordan Alvarez, and all mint nine. I got a stack of six of them here. So probably just off them for 10, 15 bucks a piece. Um, I think that's a fair deal for everybody, and you never know what the reigning uh, Rookie of the Year may do. Uh, next up was a two-card lot, two card lot of 1983 Donruss and Ryan Sandberg, Sandberg rookie cards, which I ended up paying 10 bucks a piece for. Uh, this one I picked up just because it's one of those unique cards. Um, Obviously, it's a hockey player on a baseball card. And people forget that Eric Lindros um, was actually drafted by the Blue Jays. And this is his 1990 score traded uh, rookie card. So, obviously, chose a different sport and did quite well at it. Um, here's a no number of lad. Being an 8.5, it was inexpensive. So, I picked it up. Uh, this is the one card that, you know, if he does well again this upcoming year in 2020, then he'll have some significant value, even an eight and a half. And this one was a very nice one. I mean, you don't find 74s in PSA 8 grade anymore. Um, so Frank Robinson, while he was on the Angels, you know, obviously later in his career, and... Having this in eight is phenomenal, especially since really no one else bid it on, bid on it. Next up, we have a 2011 Bowman's Best Bryce Harper prospect card in a nine. Um, I think Harper's going to bounce back this year, especially with a manager that knows what he's doing. Next up, we have Nolan Ryan, 78 tops and a six. Um, card sharp, uh, obviously got. Uh, downgraded because of the off-center cut. But overall, good card, presents well, and there's still border all around. So, Th again, thinking about doing a Nolan Ryan strictly tops run of slabs. I already have the, basically the most expensive one, so I might as well just try and do a run of the tops cards. And in that vein, we have a 77 tops Nolan Ryan, also in a six. And this one, I remember this product when it came out in 2000, but I rarely see the autos, especially in slabs. Um, so I saw this, and I kind of threw everyone else off because I think it ended up being like 15 bucks. So for a Wade Boggs auto, even though he's in a Tampa Bay uniform, still pretty darn good uh, in a PSA 8. Another one just like the Ryan considering doing a run of Reggie Jackson, the local boy. Um, and really, the my main connection with Jackson is that my father's stories of when he played against him. Uh, my father went to the local public high school, and uh, Reggie Jackson went to Cheltenham, which is in uh, north of Philadelphia. Um, so, 1965, uh, they played to, against one another, and... 
to my father's recollection, there's a ball that still hasn't landed yet. So I picked up this 78 tops, Reggie Jackson 8. So good centering, yeah, interesting card. Can't go wrong with Reggie. Another 74 tops, this time in a 7. Also a Hall of Famer toward the end of his career. And Bob Gibson. And another Bob Gibson. This time his 59 rookie again. Again, this is a three, but just like the other one, it presents as if it's a lot higher of a grade. So they're not cheap, but um, it's still pretty good value for what you get in the good old Pepto-Bismol um, Bob Gibson rookie card from 59 tops. So again, that was far and away the most expensive card of everything here. Um, and then the Talent Pipeline, I actually really enjoy these cards. Um, I think they started them in 17, maybe 16, and they still do them in 19. Um, so three rookies on one card. This time around, there's uh, Alvarez, Calhoun, and Bellinger from 17 Bowman in a knot. Another guy I think is going to turn things around this year is Andrew Bentendi. This is first Bowman Chrome in a nine from 2015. This card spiked last year, but has since come back down to earth. So for me, I figure I pick one up now while prices are reasonable. Um, this 1997 Bowman's Best Rory Halliday rookie card in a nine. Yeah, these cards are going for like 50 bucks. Now they're down to 10 to 15. This is what I think will will go up in the future. Um, which is 1995 Tops traded Carlos Beltran rookie. And this is the uh, uncorrected error of Juan LeBron photographed on the front. But it is the Beltran rookie. This is a mint nine. So a solid little card. Um, that, you know, I look to see you kind of I'm kind of expecting his prices to creep up a little bit. Despite all the stuff that's going on now. And then another Nolan Ryan, 1981 tops. And an eight. This time with the Astros. And this is a card that I remember from my childhood. Growing up, I collected Schmidt cards almost exclusively. Um, and obviously, I've pulled together other Phillies cards, which I've stopped doing since. Um, but I always remember the 1980 Tops, year the Phillies won the World Series, and Schmidt being the uh, premier player on that team, um, playing on the side of Pete Rose and Steve Carlton. So, saw this in an 8, and it's a double print for this particular year. Um, very inexpensive, and wanted to just add it, and I'll hold on to this one. Uh, just for sentimental reasons, and it's not, not like I'm tying up a bunch of money. So that is the, I guess, the inexpensive stack. Um, again, there's only the one card that was any... Uh, significant amount of money. Everything else was, um, I would say, twenty dollars and under, mostly under. Um, and the only reason I'd say the twenty is because there might have been, I think the whammy card was twenty bucks, um, and there might have been, you know, the Sandberg lot was twenty. And that's ten dollars a card, um, and the Boggs was, you know, right in the middle. And everything else is right around 10 bucks, So there's a huge variety of slabs. Um, and this lot obviously was... The Alvarez lot was a good deal. And I can sell them for in that range easily. Um, but yeah, this is a huge variety of a little bit of vintage. Um, some 80s players, some 80s cards. Um, and a lot of modern stuff that... And it's a... 
rather diverse group of players and, and teams that you can pick up pretty inexpensively. Um, if you just kind of time it and maybe do a little bit of sniping and but also kind of look for the places where they're listing a bunch of stuff, similar items, and, you know, perfect example is the uh, Vladdy Jr. no-name. Uh, everyone's buying and bidding up the 9s and the and the Gem 10s, but no one was bidding on the 8.5, eight so I was able to come in, grab that up for cheap, um, but still a quality card. So that's... The slabs I got for you this time around. Hope you enjoyed uh, little tidbits of here, there, and everywhere um, when it comes to players and, um, I guess, decades that were covered. And until next time, collect what you enjoy. Enjoy what you collect. Don't let anybody, especially the market or a YouTuber, dictate that to you. And most importantly, have fun. It's a fun hobby, and it is in your best interest to find your way to contribute to this community. Whether it's making videos, watching and commenting, going to live streams or group chats, going to your LCS or local card show, or simply talking about the hobby with your family and friends. There's a tremendous community out there. Um, people, a huge range of uh, personalities and PCs and perspectives on the hobby and all are incredibly welcoming and supportive and I am just trying to do my part to reciprocate so I thank you very much for joining me I thank you very much for the support that you've given me on this channel hope to see you again have a good one and bye for now